Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to be doing a review of the MDF pre-painted kit by Black Sight Studios, Mirage Motel. So let's get started. Mirage Motel is a relatively new kit released for use within Don't Look Back or a post-apocalyptic game. It is a typical late modern, you know, 1960s and onward motor hotel or motel. Um, Pre-painted kit, very useful for many different genres. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual kit. Let's go to the building table. <laughs> So here is the completed Mirage Motel kit by Black Sight Studios. This is a pretty nice kit. Uh, it uh, went together mostly well. I had a couple issues with some of the pieces on one of the motel rooms not fitting together right. But mostly everything was uh, relatively straightforward, relatively easy to, to put together. The um, building comes with the uh, lobby, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> The, the main building here where you uh, check in with a little drive-in overpass thing. There's a number of paper additional signs to add to it. A paper sign on the, the main motel sign. Really like this piece here. I'm a little concerned about it's how strong it may be. There's no tabs or anything inserting through this roof. This is just a butt joint glued onto the roof and I'm, I'm a little worried about the strength of that, I suspect that's going to snap off. And just making little pegs that would have gone through holes probably would have strengthened that. But anyway, it comes with um, this structure, the two motel uh, rooms, a series of walls, a separate motel sign, and the three plastic potted palms. The kit is usable for a wide range of periods, even more so if you don't put these paper stickers on. This one here says HBO and Wi-Fi right on the top of it, which kind of limits it in a reverse way, I suppose. Vacancy $25 per night may uh, also limit it. But I think it is arguably usable, possibly for as early as the 50s, but certainly from anything from the 60s on to modern. It is uh, 28 millimeters, what they're calling it, but you can see, if you look carefully, you'll see I have some don't look back figures out here, and those are all 32 millimeter figures. So like most of the things made by don't look back, they're on the slightly larger size, uh, and they will work for 28s or 32s, or heroic 28s, I suppose. Again, like most of their products, the buildings come off to give you uh, playable interiors. The doors are all usable. The walls are all, of course, completely movable. I have it set up right now on the wrong sort of mat entirely. This is uh, a swamp mat from uh, uh, Mars Mats. But Black Sight makes a new downtown mat that I think would be perfect for it if it'll fit. Construction of it worked pretty well. Like most of their kits, the instructions are available online. They don't come in the, the package. Only issues I would argue with the place that I have is, like I said, one of the motel rooms didn't fit together the way they should have as, as well as I would have liked. And of course, and I'm not the first person to have noticed this, there is the issue that it has only two hotel rooms. I don't think that's a dis uh, horrible thing. Uh, originally, a couple of us wrote, myself included, to see if they might make an extra set with extra rooms later. I kind of feel like you need at least four rooms to really make it look like a motel. Uh, but um, one thing I notice on their page they have it on their new urban or downtown map placed in the side with the fence laid out in a way that you could easily imagine that you were only at the front part of the motel and then the motel was expending off the table. And for a game on a 3 by 3 table like Don't Look Back, I think that's actually pretty fitting. You could just have the emphasis the what's the front of the motel and assume there's more motel back behind. So that why it looked like an issue to me originally it doesn't bother me so much anymore. I mean, as you can see, this, uh, this does take up a, a fair piece of room. The mat it's sitting on right now is I use for Congo, and it's a 4 by 3 mat. Uh, but it'll give you an idea that this, this pretty much does take up a large 
uh, three by three space. In fact, I'm not even sure it will fit properly on the new urban mat. I noticed in their advertisement for the urban mat, one of the motel rooms is across the street from the rest of the motel, which doesn't seem very likely to me. Like usual, it's pre-painted MDF. Uh, in this case, I don't think there's a lot of touch up that I need to do. I mean, I have to do the usual marking off sprues with a Sharpie. There you have it, a very useful kit for many different genres in anything in the, the postmodern era. Uh, you could use it for Don't Look Back or other horror games. You could use it for zombie games. It would be very interesting to use for Spectra for either espionage work or tracking uh, possible terrorists or maybe police active, uh, actions, um, drug busts or uh, uh, rescue of a hostage or a kidnap person. I think it'd be very useful for anything like that. So I could see it for Spectra or uh, Sanguine or uh, Black Ops uh, as well as the myriad of zombie games that are out there and of course don't look back, which is what I purchased it for. It's a very useful kit, a lot of value for the money. It's not an inexp inexpensive kit as it stands, but it is all pre-painted, three structures, a bit of a wall, which you could use for other things. Um, easily takes up a good part of a three by three table, which is usual table size in many of these skirmish games. And I think it'll have a lot of future and a lot of different activities on the gaming table. So a good investment, I think. If you have any questions about this kit, or you have this kit yourself and you'd like to make your own comments about your experiences with it, please put those in the comments down below. We also look at those comments for any ideas for further content which you would like to see us present here on Cry Havoc Wargaming. Uh, if, um, if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful, I hope that you will hit like. And if you'd like to receive further notifications of videos like this one or, or similar videos that might help you decide how to better spend your money or time in your wargaming hobby, then please hit subscribe. Until next time, cheers.